Welcome back to our Python series. In this lesson, we're going to talk about creating basic classes. So a class is a blueprint for an object that you might find in the real world, such as a dog, a basketball, or a um, ride at the amusement park. And what's really neat about classes is that where arrays we could use to store um, different objects like food items, dictionaries, then but the problem with the arrays was is that we could only store those items, we couldn't associate those items with anything. Um, but in a dictionary where you have a word and a meaning, you can, in a Python dictionary, you can associate a key with a value. For instance, like let's say we have a bag of coins and we want to know, we can say we have three pennies, six nickels, twelve dimes. So you can associate the number with the type of coin or in a toy store which is a project we're going to do later in this course you can associate a, um, a toy with how much it costs or a toy with how many of them are in stock but what's really neat about a class is is that you're not limited to one item and one association you can associate a particular object with many different things for instance a person has many different attributes like height, weight, age, hair color, um, and so you're not, therefore you're not limited to associating a particular item with one other thing. So we're going to create a basic dog in this um, video and the next one and then we're going to set up a pet store or a kennel where we you can um, put your, save your dog for um, when you go on vacation. All right, let's get started. So we're not going to be working at the prompt this time. We're going to create a new window. So go File, New Window. And I'm just going to adjust this window so it fits in my screen. So give me one second. OK. And um, so we start by defining a class saying class dog and it will be capitalized and then we end with a colon and now we want to um, have a method that initiates the class so we're going to say def and we're going to have a space and then two underscores and then we're going to use the word INIT, which is abbreviation for initiate, and then two more underscores. And it's very important that you don't have spacing between your underscores and the word INIT. Then we need a parentheses, and we're going to pass in the word self. Self is an important keyword that you need to associate with each method in your dog class. You'll see more of this later. And then we're going to start by having one variable for our dog and that will be the dog's name and then we're going to close the parentheses and we're going to end with a colon just like we do in a normal function now what we need to do with each of these attributes is to associate with the class so we say self which is referring back to this class and then we use our variable name so it's self.name and we set it equal to the name or the variable or the parameter we're passing into the method here Okay, so then for each parameter, we need a getter and a setter. So we're going to say def get name, and then we'll use that self keyword again. And then we want to return not name, but self.name, because that's the actual variable for this class. Name is just a temporary or local variable that's used to pass in the name of the dog. And then we want a um, setter for this variable. So we'll say def set age. And we'll pass in the self variable again. But this time we're also going to include the variable or local variable name, in this case name. And then we're going to say self.name is equal to name.
So again, we have um, a place in our class where we set up each attribute of the object, and we have we need a getter to return the value of that variable, and then we need a setter in case we want to set that variable, and I just noticed this should be set name and not set age. And last but not least, for each class, we want a string method that allows us to print out the attribute to the class. So we're going to say def space and then two underscores again and we're going to do str then two underscores again and then we're going to pass in self. And I think I have too many underscores here. So let's go back and check. Yes, so I had three instead of two. So that's another thing that you want to be aware of. And then we're going to um, set up a local variable. I'm going to abbreviate message as msg and set equal to. And then we're going to be able to print the phrase my name is. And then we want to concatenate our variable, which is name. And then we'll also just end the sentence with a period for now. And we can add more to this later. And then when we're done, we want to return the variable, which in this case is MSG. Okay, I want to put a space in there. All right, so this is a very basic class. So let's go ahead and save this. And I'm just going to go ahead and save it to a folder in my computer. And you can create a folder um, for yourself. And I've already created one called Pet Store. So I'm going to go down here. And just put it in this folder temporarily. And I'm not going to name my class dog and end with the py file extension. You always want to make the file name the same name as the class and um, use small letters. Okay, so we have a basic class, and in this session and in the next session, we will create a runner that uses this class. See you next time.